Hey friends, welcome back to the shop this week. This week we are going to dive into our Project Herald 72C10 and knock out one of the easiest and quite possibly one of the cheapest fixes that we have to do to this truck. Now, what I did not realize when I got the truck here, because uh, the person that I purchased it from actually loaded it up on the trailer while I was getting everything else ready, that the key in the ignition cylinder, sometimes it wants to start, sometimes it doesn't want to start, and it wasn't a matter of anything else but just that lock cylinder and having to wiggle it and shake it he was just a finicky, grumpy old man. And when you did get it to, to get in the place to start, it could then just not want to release the key. So we decided that was the very first priority that we needed to knock out because of how easy it is. And this door doesn't even have a lock cylinder, so we've got to get that taken care of. So this kit from CJ Pony Parts included the ignition lock cylinder as well as two new door lock cylinders with the full set of keys. And I'll be damned, $26 for that major part, at least in our minds, major because we needed to get it started and need to be able to rely on it happening over and over again the, the way that it should be. So. We'll walk through in this episode on how to replace the ignition cylinder lock, and you'll see on just how incredibly easy it is. So let's get it started. Now here's the lock cylinder for the ignition, and it's, you gotta end up wiggling it so many times to end up getting it to turn. And now this key, as I mentioned, is not the original key, and it's a little thin. I don't want to wiggle this too many times and end up snapping it off, and then uh, we're really in trouble. So we're going to go ahead and resolve this right now. First step is go ahead and put the, the key in. Next step is going to go ahead and turn it to the left to accessory. Then get you a handy-dandy paper clip straightened out. To the right of the key is a little hole. You'll push this in. You'll turn the key to the left. And of course, this one does. This one wants to stick. And it popped back into place. Of course because this key is not holding on to the lock cylinder very easily. There we go. All right, out. So now, putting the new one back in is just reverse. I've got a new lock cylinder with new keys. This is only gonna go in one way. It'll go in the exact same position as the old one was. To the left, you'll slide it in It'll go in, then turn to the right a little bit. You'll hear the click. Turn the key the rest of the way out of accessory. Hot damn. This is working exactly the way that it's supposed to be. Every single time. Here is the old ignition cylinder lock. It's seen better days. It's it's definitely worn out. And this key, let's see, it's it's definitely seen some wear and tear over the years on this. So really glad that we got that out now before we had a bigger issue on our hands to fix. Well, thanks for joining us this week on this incredibly easy but incredibly important replacement on Harold. Make sure that we don't have any issues starting him up, getting him out of the shop, and hopefully eventually soon getting him on the road. So 
I can't say they're all going to be this easy, but we certainly appreciate you following along on each of the different things that we're going to be knocking out with them. So until next week, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.